Kids, are we ready for a reading of The Night Before Christmas? The Nightmare Before Christmas. No, The Night Before Christmas. So, many people don't know that this, the uh, origin of this song is a little bit in dispute. Who wrote the song is, there's a controversy, you can it's look it up song. on Wikipedia, or the poem. So, Clement Clark Moore or Henry Livingston, not quite sure who wrote it, and uh, there's still controversy, the families are arguing. So... I vote Livingston. Allison? Oh, okay. I'm just pointing my belly. Here so, sure the night listen. before Christmas, with an ever so slight, with a ever so slight Macintosh bias, with credit and apologies to Clement Clark Moore or Henry Livingston, whoever wrote it. <laughs> okay. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a track pad. <laughs> Stick with me here. The earbuds were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that all things I maker would soon be there. The nocilla castaways were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of iPads danced in their heads. And pot feet in her kerchief and I in my cravat had just settled <laughs> down for a long winter Skype chat. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the keyboard to see what was the matter. Away to the windows! I uh, flew like a flash drive, tore open the shutters, <laughs> and nearly did a nosedive. <laughs> the moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave a luster of brushed aluminum to objects below, when what to my eyes seemed very bizarre, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny cars. With a little old driver with whom elves hobnob, I knew in a moment it must be Honda Bob. <laughs> More rapid than 4G, his vehicles they came, and he tweeted and shouted and called them by name. Now Accord, now Civic, now Fit and CRV, on Element, on Ridgeline, on Pilot and Odyssey. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now drive away, drive away, drive away all. As, as dry leaves that before the reality distortion field endowed, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the cloud, so up to the housetop, the vehicles they flew with a sleigh full of Apple products, and Honda Bob too. And then in a twinkling, I heard with a squeal, the skidding and sliding of each little wheel. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney Bob came with a bound. He was dressed in coveralls, from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all torn, tarnished with oil and soot. A bundle of SSDs he had flung in his Scotty vest, and he looked like a geek who was extremely obsessed. A wink of my eye and a look not too pious soon gave me to know he had a Macintosh bias. <laughs> he spoke not a word, but texted his concern, and fill all the stockings, and then hit return. And a laying his finger aside his levitation app, a command to his iPad, up the chimney ASAP. He sprang to his sleigh, and his autos did they bristle. And away he all flew, as if shot from a missile. But I heard him exclaim, as the poem prescribed, Happy Christmas to all! And please stay subscribed. Yay! <laughs> Where's Tesla? She didn't make the video. Tesla, come here! It wasn't quite as clean as I did it on the I record. loved it. <laughs> That's so creative. Yeah. How did you come up with all that? And, even better, <laughs> so, oh, and there was a little bit of extraneous background noise. Uh, so the green is the original poem, the red is the modif modifications.